I went through something that I, I thought I would never ever go through. Uh, and I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear. I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying, cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I found out from the man in the room was that uh, the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. I was, I was blind, but as you can see, uh, as you can see, the eyes are working. The eyes are working just fine. Uh, said I was paralyzed, I'm not paralyzed. After months and months of radio silence from him, his entire family, and everyone that has a personal relationship with him, Jamie Foxx is finally back in the media himself. The actor has just spoken about his incredibly terrible ordeal, but apart from just thanking people for their well wishes, he also decided to let out some shocking details about his time in the wilderness. You see, while Foxx was legitimately fighting for his life when he was hospitalized, he chose to keep it private, and the reason will have you gaping. This, and a lot more, is the bomb he just decided to drop today. So believe me when I tell you this is one story you do not want to miss. I didn't want you to see me with, uh, with tubes uh, running out of me. From stories of him having a heart attack, to even wilder tales of him reportedly going blind from being brain dead, the theories about Jamie's condition when he was at the hospital ran wild and things became further complicated when he was out of the hospital without giving an explanation for what had happened to him all those months. But to say the man was going through hell all of that time would be an understatement. In a video released a couple of hours ago, Fox decided to finally give a personal account of his life over the last couple of months. He revealed that for starters, he wasn't sure if he was actually going to survive the ordeal and that he might not have survived if not for his family's intervention and support. My sister Deidre Dixon, my daughter Corinne Marie saved my life. So uh, to them, to God, to a lot of great medical people, uh, I'm able to leave you this. Speaking about his family, the rapper come actor also took out time to especially thank them for keeping his dark times as airtight as possible. Explaining why he had them take that route Fox revealed that he didn't want pictures of him with tubes sticking out and being unresponsive out on the internet. He said he only wanted people to keep seeing him in his current state, as that guy that brightens up the room and gets everyone laughing. Suffice it to say he got what he wanted because even though people claim to have gotten information from reliable sources about the actor's state in the hospital, nothing backed by photographic evidence actually came out. I cannot tell you how great it feels to have your family kick in in such a way. And, and y'all know they kept it airtight. They didn't let nothing out. They protected me. And while we're on wild stories about him getting out, Jamie actually touched on some specific ones in his latest message to the people. Explaining that he understands how being quiet would have led to wild stories about him, Jamie debunked some of these wild claims, particularly the one about being blind. He also revealed that the word about him being paralyzed was nothing more than a fiction of some people's imagination. And although he seems to be pretty peachy now, Fox revealed that it was a struggle to get to this point because besides the battle for his life, he also had a lot of bumps in his road to recovery. But as we can all see, he appears to be doing much better than anyone could have expected. In fact, he wrapped up his message to the people by stating that he was back in the game, as in he is already open to taking jobs and probably completing old projects. It's been tough, man, I was sick, man, but now, Got my legs uh, under me, so you're gonna see me out. Well, you could say fans had been expecting the update from him for a while now, as many of them took to the comments section to gush about how happy they are about the actor's recovery. One person wrote, glad he's doing okay now and getting better. He must have been through some very tough times health-wise. Looking forward to the Jamie Foxx we all love with the stories and jokes. Another user who's also glad the actor is back, but believes his family wasn't very upfront wrote, I'm glad he's okay. His family was moving weird during that period too, and I was beginning to think they might have done something. Their sides were sketchy as hell. I truly hope he's good, I hope he is. The black community cares about this man, we love him. As much as we'd like to write this user's comment off, they actually have a point because, from the onset of Jamie's illness, his family was a little weird about it. Per the original story, Jamie Foxx was admitted to a hospital in Atlanta, Georgia on April 13th, according to his daughter, Corinne, 
who shared that her father suffered a medical complication. So Jamie Foxx suffered a very serious medical emergency that landed him in the hospital. The actor's daughter, Corinne, released a statement on April 12th where she revealed that her father was in recovery in Atlanta after news of a medical complication the day prior. The statement on Instagram read, We wanted to share that my father, Jamie Foxx, experienced a medical complication yesterday. Luckily, due to quick action and great care, he is already on his way to recovery. We know how beloved he is and appreciate your prayers. The family asks for privacy during this time. At the time, it was unclear what the medical complication was exactly, but before the incident, he was filming the upcoming film, Back in Action. According to People, Jamie's incident did not happen while he was on set and he was not transported to the hospital by an emergency vehicle. Later down the line, Jamie acknowledged the support he had received from fans in an Instagram post on May 3rd, where he wrote, appreciate all the love, feeling blessed. But then on May 12th, Corinne posted an update confirming her father had been out of the hospital for weeks. The statement on her Instagram story read, update from the family, sad to see how the media runs wild. My dad has been out of the hospital for weeks, recuperating. In fact, he was playing pickleball yesterday. Thanks for everyone's prayers and support. We have an exciting announcement coming next week too. However, a week after Corinne had revealed that, an American journalist and podcaster, AJ Benza, revealed that it was actually not the case. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the sh The podcaster shared that he's dug around for details on what ailed Fox and whether it was related to the vaccine. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but with the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it, Benza claimed. What I found out from the man in the room was that the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. Shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it. What I found out from the man in the room was that uh, the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially... Benza's claims didn't end there. Oh no. He also revealed that Jamie's condition was largely linked to a COVID-19 vaccine he took. Benza alleged that Fox was forced to get a vaccine while he was working on a film. He claimed he had a source in the room with Fox and that the performer developed a blood clot, which led to a stroke after he got vaccinated. According to reports, Fox's representative said in an email that Benza's claim is completely inaccurate. Although Fox was hospitalized for an undisclosed illness in April, his daughter Corinne Fox said in an Instagram story post that he had been home for weeks and was well enough to play pickleball. Still, that didn't stop Benza's disputed claim from running rampant on social media. Far-right commentators like Candace Owens amplified it on her YouTube-based podcast, where she has 1.67 million subscribers, insinuating that Benza's statement must be true because Fox's family didn't outright condemn it. Their silence seems as though there is some veracity to this claim, Owens said in the YouTube video posted the same week. We're all holding our breath to see whether or not Jamie Foxx speaks out. I would say, just using common sense, that if this was my family and a person went out and told a viral, would immediately issue a statement, we would condemn the journalist and my family would call them a liar. But then, two weeks after all of these stories were flying around, Fox was spotted at the most random places. The They Clone Tyrone star appeared on a boat with a few others on the Chicago River Sunday in a video obtained by TMZ. Fox smiled as he waved over to fans who called out to him. Boat Life, the entertainer tweeted Sunday evening, his first tweet in months, noting that he was celebrating summer with his whiskey brand brown sugar bourbon. Fox added, stay blessed. And this was just one of many sightings, as the actor was also seen playing picketball and golfing, proving that the claims that were being made about him must have been false to some extent. However, people still believe there's something fishy about his whole story, and even his most recent appearance in the media, and these guys haven't been holding back. That was the case with this user who believes Fox might be hiding something. They wrote, Time for you to expose the truth at I am Jimmy Fox. Don't let Hollywood run your life. Don't let Hollywood threaten your life and career if you speak the truth. Don't be like the others. Stand up for what's right so others can see the truth and hear the truth. 
you are loved. Truth. I mean, if this user is saying this, then there's a good chance they might be seeing something the rest of us can't. But as for Jamie, he seems to be living his best life, and now, and reports have revealed he is even back at work already. That's right. A couple of days ago, TMZ reported that the 55-year-old actor shot a brand new BetMGM commercial in Las Vegas at the Aria Resort and Casino. The gossip news outlet even got a couple of pictures of Fox looking healthy sitting in the cockpit of a golden F1 race car. Fox shared a picture from the shoot on Instagram to the delight of fans, writing, Thankful for my at Betty MGM family and a great few nights in Vegas. We got big things coming soon. Looks like our man's back like he never left. Let's just hope his health stays just as great. That's it for this video. Goodbye.